Hello students, first of all very sorry because of the crackers and the fireworks which is going on because today is the second day of Diwali uh, Roop Chaudas, Harak Chaturdashi and everybody is celebrating but there are some students who might be feeling bad, depressed, sad, panic, anxiety. I am also feeling bad and hence I am shooting this video from my home. There might be a possibility that the video quality might be not so good. But today's video is not about the video quality. It is more about the quality, what the ICAI is expecting, the quality of marks, what as teachers we are expecting and the quality of marks i am feeling bad while i am saying this the quality of marks what you are expecting for yourself and i am feeling very bad when i am when i am saying this i am really getting emotional right now but uh, this is a this is a fact today that many students who have seen their ca foundation and ca intermediate results are sad and don't worry, I am with you. I am with all those students who are not feeling up to the mark today or who are questioning their identity or maybe they are questioning their uh, discipline or they are questioning the world, the, uh, the papers, the confidence. So, in today's video, I will be discussing the tips, the tricks, or basically you can say we will be discussing www now what is this www all about this www is all about what went wrong what went wrong that why we couldn't have a good result why we couldn't clear in this attempt so don't worry don't be depressed don't be sad just because you couldn't clear in this attempt it is more important it is even very much important to ask this question that what went wrong now we need to answer these three w's and i can vouch it for myself and for my team that we will help you in this to bring you out of this situation and I am really getting very emotional when I am saying this that I want to take you out of this situation when you are questioning yourself and I am really serious about this right now when everybody is like celebrating and maybe enjoying this festive uh, season I am just sitting in my room and few moments back I was questioning myself kya galat kiya maine kya kya galat kiya us bacche ne jo uska result nahi aaya I am happy for those students those who have cleared but aisa kehte hai na jo bachcha thoda weak hota hai jo bachcha thoda sad hota hai जो बच्चा कुछ नहीं कर पाया जिसमें पोटेंशियल है जो कर सकता है मदर फादर पेरेंट्स सिबलिंग्स मेंटोर्स टीचर्स दे केयर अबाउट मोर अबाउट दैट पर्टिकुलर किड हु कुड हैव डन इट बट कुडेंट डू इट सो इन टूडेज वीडियो बेसिकली वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द थ्री डब्ल्यूज वॉट वेंट रॉन्ग सो फॉर दिस I have personally come up with the concept of lining up the rigorous test series, of lining up the rigorous mentoring mentoring sessions for you guys, and how we are going to achieve this. I'll just give a snippet of the same. We will be discussing more about this, but in this video particularly, I am just covering the brief overview, the snippet of what. Plans I have in my mind, right? So we will start with the first point. What 
about the concepts if you are good enough in the concepts if you are all done with the concepts if you are perfectly okay with all the um, uh, conceptual clarities if it comes to law based paper whether the concepts are clear yes the concepts are pretty clear in macro and micro economics whether the concepts are clear yes if you can say this with complete surety 100% then you can tick mark this c tick you can tick mark this c but if your percentage of surety of concreteness is ranging from 80 to 100% then also you are in a safe zone then also you are in a safe zone but if it is between 60 to 80% now this is something which you have to worry about why because in the real paper not all the uh, i mean not everything will be in your favor not all the questions which you will get in the paper will be in your favor so if you are in this 60 to 80% then there is something little bit to worry about okay ha but if you are in this 40 to 60% range now here you are in a dangerous situation because below 40 to i am even not covering it i am not covering below 40 because below 40 if it is there then no such word exist concepts exist in it so if it is between 40 to 80% then you are in a dangerous situation and we need to inflate ourselves we need to pump up ourselves in order to reach from this 260 to 80 then to 80 to 100 and then to 100% ma'am whether 100% conceptual clarity is a reality or i will not say yes i will not say yes that all the subjects 100% clarity in all the topics i will not vouch for this but yes 99% 95% 91% 90% this can happen ठीक है सेकेंड इज लॉजिक द सेकेंड वर्ड विच वी विल बी डीलिंग ऑल्सो इन दिस वीडियो एंड ऑल्सो इन द लेटर पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियोज इन अपकमिंग वीडियोज इन द सेकेंड सीरीज वेन आई एल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द टाइम लाइन्स एंड द स्केड्यूल दैट हाउ एंड वेन वी आर बिगनिंग और कमेंसिंग विद आर टेस्ट सीरीज और हाउ वी कैन गो अबाउट विद द फैक्ट दैट हाउ टू टू गिव द आंसर फॉर those three w's what went wrong so second is logic how much logic can you actually apply in the real paper it is not about writing your assignments it is not only about uh, teacher teaching you and you are just saying ha ha ma'am the concept is clear ha ha sir sir the concept is clear it is not about that it is about when you as an independent person is sitting in your paper with nobody around you with around you with no support system with no uh, back backup it's just you and your paper then how much logic can you apply in a given question if it is again in 100% range just tick mark this ek sahi chal rahe hain hum theek hai matlab kuch aur hai which is stopping the success next is if you are in 80 to 100% criteria good to go good to go you can improvise if it is in 60 to 80% range then you are uh, not at risk but ha kabhi bhi idhar downfall idhar pe aa sakta hai so you need to improvise and there is no end to improvisation and if you are in 40 to 860% range again it is a dangerous situation in which you presently are it's just that you are not getting the point that what is the fact that why you cannot pass the paper so second is logic am i clear till here that there are two things c and l the third important point is e whether you have excellence in the subject or in any particular topic and what all are those subjects per se in which you are excellent now why you are saying this ma'am there is a reason behind it 
in ca cs cma or any professional paper it is not about you having a complete clarity complete confidence in all the four or all the papers like seven papers eight papers six papers or whatever is the structure in ca cs cma i am talking about all the professional courses across all the professional courses it is about that maybe there are two subjects in which you have excellence excellence means that you can bring about 80% marks 85% marks 70 75% marks in the in these two papers and these two papers ke marks will be compensating for the deficiencies which are there in the remaining two papers so a, a ca student who has a good hand over accounting principles over accounts as a subject as a complete subject and maybe quants because he has a practical orientation practical mindset then maybe there is a chance that he is not so good in law and economics undoubtedly i know economics is a practical paper it happens in practicality right but some of the students might feel that are a ma'am theory hai boring hai ye hai wo i can get it i can understand it ye hota hai right same can happen with a cs executive student when they are dealing with corporate accounting and financial management they go, go all crazy are baap re itna practical itna numbers ke sath kaun khelega now you talk about law ah huh? they are good with jurisprudence they are good with company law they are good with ecipl and so and so forth theek hai sorry for the little bit of disturbance so if you have complete excellence excellence means it excellence doesn't mean that you are all perfect in it एकदम 100% परसेंट पेपर बना के आ जाएंगे सौ में से सौ आ जाएगा यू विल गेट 100 आउट ऑफ 100 आई एम नॉट सींग दिस दिस इज अ प्रोफेशनल पेपर यू विल नॉट गेट 100 आउट ऑफ 100 सम स्टूडेंट्स माइट गेट बट आई एम सींग आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द मास इज सो एक्सेलेंस मीन्स डेट यू कैन गिव योर बेस्ट इन दैट पेपर बिकॉज यू हैव नेचुरल स्ट्रेंथ इन दी इन दीज सब्जेक्ट बिकॉज ऑफ द शॉर्ट कॉन्सेप्ट स्ट्रेंथ एंड वीकनेस इज वी ऑलरेडी नो इट राइट सो यू हैव एक्सेलेंस इन दिस in these two papers in three papers in four paper in one paper now again you need to ask yourself that for each and every paper whether i am excellent i am very good i am good i am average or i am below average what are the five uh, demarcations i have told you excellent very good good average below average if it is below average or average again you are in dangerous situation now talk about the fact even if you are good in a and b subject but if you are not so good in c and d subject so even if you pass a and b subject with flying colors you will not be able to make the aggregate you will not be able to make the aggregate so isse hame kya seekh milti hai what we get out of this scenario that irrespective of the fact that i get 100 in accounting 100 in quants then also if i am failing or not bringing up to the marks like i have got 35 in law kya karu even if my aggregate is crossing like 279 2 300 329 but if i am fail in one subject then i am fail in my ca foundation level so we need to understand this that excellence means that i am good in the subject and those subjects can make the average but at the same point of time we need to make sure that we are at least good very good or or excellent to chalo i have left the category but at least in the remaining paper i am very good or good this has to be taken into consideration only then you will tick this e theek hai fourth is accuracy the fourth point is accuracy so when we talk about accuracy we basically are talking about the the accuracy with which you can solve the question so like if i am saying that i am able to solve a question of 6 marks with 100% accuracy i am not saying that you will get 100 out of 100 i am saying that there are high chances that you will get 4 out of 6 marks or you will get 5 out of 6 marks or you will get 4 out of 6 marks then we are in a decent range but the problem arises when we are not able to get 
up to the marks undoubtedly we can attempt the question undoubtedly we can attempt the question but when it comes to getting the marks then we can only get two marks or one mark then you are solving paper of 100 marks but how much you are getting in return you are only getting 25 30 32 marks now merely solving or attempting the question is not what is required in the real exam it is about that how much accurately you can solve the question or how much accurately you can actually bag the question and also how much marks you can get out of the question so let's say that i have i have attempted 10 questions in the first question i'll i'm able to get fetch four marks in the second question i'm able to fetch six marks if it is of out mark uh, eight marks i am able to fetch uh, four marks out of uh, six marks i'm able to fetch in the third question which is of four marks but i'm only able to fetch 1.5 now this is how the mark the marks range ranges uh, i mean range is decided now how much accurately you can uh, solve the question like we need to behave like arjun arjun machli ki machli ki aag pe point kar raha tha he was concentrating on the bulls eye ki ye hai ye mujhe dhyan dena hai aaju baaju ki cheeze mujhe dhyan nahi deni hai so how much accurate i am how much confident i am that if i have solved this question then i'll be able to fetch minimum itna marks so it should be minimum more than 50% so if a question is of 6 marks then minimum 3 to guarantee karna hi hai so 3 is the minimum standard ma'am what is the maximum standard sky is the limit then 6 out of 6 bhi milta hai mil jaye acha hai ma'am reality mein whether we get so much of marks no 6 mein se 6 nahi milta kini kini questions mein milta hai if you talk about all the questions you don't get it so this is the sad reality this is the sad truth law paper mein to bilkul hi nahi milega if you talk about taxation accounting costing haan you can get it quants wagera mein you can get it even if it is a mcq based paper like economics macro and micro economics and ca foundation you can definitely get it. but if you talk about the law based papers no itna nahi milega so the first was c concepts l is for logic e is for excellence a is for accuracy now if these four if these four letters are ticked letters the here represents the the entire word like concepts logic excellence and accuracy then we have the fifth word which is r that is result which means you are clear so i was just thinking after today's result that what went wrong so after thinking for let's say 3 to 4 hours i made this concept i made i came up with this phenomena that maybe we need to look at the success with these four angles you need to be good at concepts you need to be good at logic if both is okay then how much excellence do you have in the subject agar ye dono acha hai to to paper aapka subject excellent hona chahiye na so if it is so then what are these papers that I am good at? And if these three are there, then whether my accuracy level in the real exam is okay? Nahi hai, then again, it is a point of question. We need to raise this question. And finally, if all these four are properly ticked, ah, tuck, 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 everything done, now we can say, yes, we have the result at hand we have the result and the result is clear so now i am just stopping this video here so that i can uh, 
you can go through you can just absorb this and we can meet soon in the upcoming video in the next video i will be discussing with you guys about how we can achieve this clear concepts logic excellence accuracy and then we will we can have uh, the result so wait for my next video soon i will be coming live for this for this discussion that how we can achieve this how assignments will be given to you how um, uh, paper patterns will be discussed how mentoring sessions will happen and how you can send your answer copies to us directly so that we can guide you we can gauge your performance and we can come up with a concrete analysis which is based on these four letters in order to get the fifth one uh but again like uh, what i have seen in my life what all failures i have seen in my life failure is nothing but just a one step before uh the the success when we achieve it so in order to have the taste of success it's always good to have the taste of failure like have you seen the runners what they do they just take a step back and then they just go they they just achieve the success they just have the success so um, once again don't be disheartened don't be sad we are here with you and soon i'll be discussing the 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 uh, the points the ways the strategies the plans plots everything what we can do to realize the mutual goal of you passing the paper i want you guys to pass the paper and like one student has sent me a message sorry ma'am i felt bad you need not to be sorry dear you need not to be sorry it is just that something more is there which the god wants to uh, you to know which the gods want you to uh, just suffer and then just i am also here you are also here just see at that time success will be like anything it will taste like anything so just wait for that moment wait for that time but till that time don't question your discipline don't question your integrity just if you want to question then 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 start it with what went wrong don't have a self doubt you can do it i know you can do it this is for each and every student in the entire india in the entire world who have given ca foundation ca intermediate and even for all the students professional students who have recently given cs executive papers cs professional papers who are about to give cs executive cs professional or all the categories across all the professional papers this is for each and every student don't have a self doubt in the at the right time you will get the right thing correct so wait for my next video in the next video we'll be discussing more about the concepts the logics the excellence points and the accuracy points and how we can get the results till that time if you want to question yourself then you should ask this question what went wrong look at the past see kya galat hua kya sahi hua jo sahi hua use aur behtar banana hai jo galat hua use sahi karna hai happy diwali don't ruin your diwali i know i mean today is narak chaturdashi tomorrow is diwali i wish you a very happy and prosperous diwali and uh, just all the best from my side just remember we are with you the entire team is with you i am with you love to all thank you